Hi, so we wrapped our trip where we shot with these huge lenses, one by Fujifilm and one by Sony. So we each rented a 100 to 400 millimeter lens. They are basically identical except for they're by two different brands. And so we each shot photos and videos this weekend and we're gonna have some sample footage to show you. But in the meantime, I thought we'd talk about the ergonomics and what we thought about just the overall experience of shooting with these lenses. All right, so I paired my lens with the Sony a7R 3 and this lens by Sony uh, was released in 2017 along with the A9, so it's a relatively new lens. There is a little uh, switch here, so I can actually go between smooth, which makes it slightly smoother, versus tight, which drags it out just a little bit. But something about the Fuji lens that I actually like that I wish was on this lens was a lock so that I could lock this into place because I did find that when carrying this around, sometimes this lens actually was coming out like this, like even when it was tight. So that was one piece of feedback. Uh, there's also a bunch of switches here so I can go between autofocus, manual focus, full and infinity, um, optical steady shot on and off, and mode one and two, which I understand has to do with panning. But in general, I really like shooting with this lens. It's actually among Sony's farthest reaching telephoto lenses available. It obviously is not as smooth as shooting with an f2.8 lens, but considering the range, this is a fantastic lens when you're shooting outside and have enough daylight. So it's been great for wildlife photography and videography. Oh, and I should also add that when you're using a lens with a range like this, you really need to use it with a monopod. I find that if I'm using the 50 to 140, I don't necessarily need the monopod, but for this lens in particular, the monopod has been super helpful. So this right here is the Oben carbon fiber monopod. We'll leave a link in the description below. But this has been a stellar monopod for travel because it packs down really small, but also extends really long as well. And I was shooting with the Fujifilm 100 to 400 and my X-H1. One thing I should say is when you're shooting with a lens this big, you really need the grip. So that's why I really like using the X-H1 with it. The next thing is that um, I've for a long time wanted a lens this big because I like wildlife and truly the only way to get a full-size image of wildlife is with this kind of range. And this is a 100 to 400, which means it crops on this camera. And then there's also the extender, which um, we have for Fujifilm lenses. And this is the two times multiplier. And so we're talking a very long range, over a thousand millimeters when you do the math. So uh, with this range, I was able to get um, even tiny birds fill up the whole image. And even with the crop sensor, it was a um, really good experience. I am personally I'm sold on this because I really like the idea of taking wildlife shots. Uh, I've always wanted to go on a safari. This is pretty much the only way and I shoot only Fujifilm when it comes to either mirrorless or DSLRs. So for me this is the only choice and it performed really well. Um, the stability on it is really impressive and together with the X-H1's IBIS the shots were coming out really stable but even then when you're fully extended and if you have the extender on you have to use the monopod. And in this case, I used one that is more so heavy duty. So the monopod is good for one reason though. Um, prime reason here is it has legs. So it can be much more stable. And there's some sway that it allows at the bottom, which uh, lets you actually move the camera slightly. So that way you don't um, overdo the motion because when you're extended at such focal length, every little motion makes quite a huge pan. It's just the, the nature of optics. And the other thing we did here is we put the Manfrotto video head and this head was really fantastic. It has very good knobs and, and it um, is tight when there's no flux of any sort that I could find. And even with this huge lens, I was able to do some pans. I'm curious to see how they look on the big screen. Um, but yeah, very stable and everything. Um, we can control the motion really well with this lever here. The lever itself can assume almost any position. Um, when it's um, loose like this you can just play with it and one thing to know is for this screw you need to have a screwdriver or something like a key or a coin or something that's how you fasten this um, so yeah normally the lens itself was mounted to the monopod's head and then I had my strap actually on the camera and that way I was able to make sure I don't drop the camera forward and it cannot come off me. So it was really extra tight, extra steady that way. And yeah, altogether, very winning combination. 
and we got some nice wildlife shots with it. I don't think there's a better way to get them. Sony 100 to 400, 4.5 to 5.6. This thing feels brand new. It's like so nice and actually really compact considering it is a 400. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, that's super cool. This is like a different kind of shooting. You're like spying on nature. Jeez, did you on that tree? Yeah. That's really? Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs>